So what do we want in 1.4? So there are a few features that I was hoping would make 1.2 but didn't. Didn't want to delay it even more, so a few things have to be bumped up, and they are actually done now. So we already have some features for, for 1.4. The animating cursors is the first one. Almost 90% of the work was already done in one or two, with just a couple of remaining patches. And I'm actually considering putting that into one or two or two, so that users can can enjoy that sooner. <coughs> of course, it means that it cannot be claimed as a one or four feature. <laughs> <laughs> so we now have a 64 bit Gecko package, thanks to that side. Yes. Not here. Yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> so that, that's a very nice improvement. It would also have been nice to have it in one or two, but well, <laughs> that's life. It's, it's too many changes to back forth to one or two. Yes. <coughs> we just have to wait. We have the native cursors, which is really more, more of a cosmetic detail but it kind of rounds up the feature set of the new icons and new cursors and everything. So I expect that this, this area is, is now pretty much mature and is not going to change more. And we have Accept DX. Yay! Yay for Mike. Mike's not here. He's not here. So we can play both of them again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and Mike has been struggling with that for a long time, so it's great. Mm -hmm. that it was persistent enough. Next is one thing that's not quite done, but that we want to do is a mono package. Where's <coughs> Vincent? Where's Vincent? Oh, yeah, so we give him what to do, and then we go for him. <laughs> so, this is supposed to do a mono package. <laughs> uh, to be fair, I mean, there's, there's, at the moment, there's a distribution component to this, too, where I have to help Vince and the whole thing actually build the distribute. So. Um, yeah, I mean, it, it's like Gecko. We need to provide a package and then the distro needs to do a very installation. And it turns out that on Ubuntu, at least, this is uh, not a small one for us. <laughs> Okay, good. So, uh, <laughs> 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 and one thing I want in one of four is to be able to do a successful 64 bit make test, which is actually fairly close. I have three failures on my box, two of which are uh, Martin's fault. <laughs> 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 that should be very easy to fix, and the last one is the, the Ole. Type it Marshall, it's going to be a pain to fix. But I really want that for 104 so that I can <coughs> run the 64 bit test suite for, for every commit and keep it working. So that's a number of small features, and then I would like to have some big features too. <coughs> so Imagine, keep it. <laughs> 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 So the first one is the right-to-left language support that we've actually been working on already. It's not quite done, but it's, it's maybe halfway done. And that, that would be a nice feature. I mean, most users don't care, but for users who need it, it's very useful to have your language uh, the right way around. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure you know what needs to be done when you say half done. But <laughs> we can discuss it in private. I think later. I do, but yeah. <laughs> I know you don't want it to. It's actually more done than what you want. Because you don't want the windows to be mirror. No, no, that, that's, that's the least of the problem. We, we have a no, huge I mean. amount of work on edit controls and uh, rich text. And yeah, I mean.